easily confused medical conditions, femoral hernia and saphenovarix. Patients often come to see the doctor with lumps in the groin area. These lumps can be quite difficult to diagnose just on the basis of examination findings alone. Because there are quite a few conditions that can cause lumps in the groin and often enough, they look clinically very similar. Two conditions, which are known to create such confusion, are a femoral hernia and a saphenovarix. Number 1, What is a femoral hernia? A femoral hernia is a common condition where the inside lining of the abdomen, called the peritoneum, can slide out of the abdomen through a weak point at the top of the leg. A femoral hernia usually disappears when the patient lies down flat. The lump will usually have a cough impulse. In other words, if a hand is placed on the lump and the patient coughs, the hand will feel the lump move out a little with the cough. A strangulated femoral hernia is a surgical emergency and needs an urgent operation to repair it. For this reason, we usually repair a femoral hernia as soon as possible after it has been diagnosed. Number 2, What is a saphenovarix? A saphenovarix is a localized blowout of the saphenous vein at the top of the leg where it joins the deep femoral vein, essentially, it is a localized varicose vein. It presents as a lump at the top of the leg which is soft and non-tender and can easily be pushed back, very similar in size and position to a femoral hernia. It also disappears when the patient lies flat and may have a cough impulse like a hernia as well. It can be quite difficult to distinguish between a thrombosed varix and a strangulated femoral hernia just by observation alone. When in doubt, an ultrasound scan can be helpful in determining the difference. The final words. It is important to know which is which. The treatment for a strangulated femoral hernia is an emergency operation. The treatment for a thrombosed saphenovarix is anti-inflammatory medication and sometimes anticoagulant injections to reduce the risk of deep vein thrombosis. For more details, visit www.medicalisland.net.